Hey everybody, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. I have yet another Mio Mini video for you today. This one's going to show you how to install custom boot logos on your device. And we're going to use a special app to do this. And within that app, there are several dozen different boot logos you can choose from. But also in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own boot logo if that's something you're interested in as well. Now, the app we're going to use is called Logo Tweak, and it basically has a gallery you can cycle through to pick your favorite boot logo. And that's what I'm cycling through here so you can get an idea of the options available. Now, this app was created by a couple developers within the Onion OS community. And then a lot of these boot logos were made by various members within the community as well. So really, this is a big family project. Now before we get started, I do want to give one caveat, and that is in order to change the boot logo, you have to flash it on the internal storage. And anytime that you mess with the internal storage on this device, there is a small possibility of bricking it. Now that being said, there are lots of checks and balances within the app to prevent that from happening. And if something does go wrong, I do have instructions in my guide that'll walk you through the process of recovering your firmware if it comes down to that. But all that aside, I've probably flashed this 20 times across six different Miu Mini devices, both version one and version two, and I've had zero problems. But I did want to bring that up that this process is not risk-free. Anyway, that's enough talking about it. Let's get down to business. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Now, I first heard about this process from a YouTuber named Retro Breeze, and this is a relatively new YouTube channel, but they've been focusing a lot on the Miu Mini, and they've been creating some pretty cool videos. And so I'll have a link to their channel in the video description, and I recommend you check it out. Let's see if we can get them over a thousand subscribers. To start, we're going to go to the app's GitHub page here, and the app is called Easy Logo Tweak. Now, within this GitHub page, it does walk you through the written instructions, but it's also available as a readme file when you download it. So let's grab the app. What we're going to do is press that green code button and then select download zip. And then you can save that file wherever you want and then find it within your file explorer. From here, you're going to want to open up that zip file and then go through the folders until you find one that's called app. Within here is the logo tweak app itself. And within that folder is the readme file I just mentioned. So all the installation instructions are right here. But of course, I'm just going to walk you through that here in this video. Number one thing here is just have that logo tweak folder. Now we're going to do this with Onion OS first. All you have to do is just plug in your Onion OS SD card. And then within the root directory of the Onion OS card, there's going to be an app folder. And it's as simple as just opening up that folder and then moving this logo tweak folder inside. You may or may not have a bunch of apps right here. It all depends on what you did when you first installed Onion OS. Regardless, we're actually done. Go ahead and eject your SD card and put it back into your Miu Mini. Next, go ahead and power on the device and then navigate over to the app section. From there, you're going to find logo tweak and it'll be the bottom app within there. And once you start Logo Tweak up, it's going to show you a series of different thumbnails. And all you have to do at this point is just press the B button to cycle through each of these. And then when you find one that you like, you press the A button and it'll get installed. So for example, I like this Sega themed one here. So I'm going to press the A button. It's going to check that it's the right file size, and then it'll flash it to your internal storage. From there, you just press any key to get back to the menu. And then I recommend right then and there shutting down the device. From there, you can go ahead and start it back up and bam, look at that. We now have the Miu Mini boot logo custom made with a Sega theme. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. You can go ahead and flash other ones if you don't like that one or so on and so forth. Now the boot logo is now stored on the internal storage. So if we change out the SD card from Onion OS to the other operating system I like to use, which is Mini UI, it's still going to have that same boot logo. So this is something that's going to stay no matter what. Now let's say you're like me and you prefer to use Mini UI as your main operating system for the Miu Mini. Well, let me show you how to install it on this one as well. Again, just go ahead and take that SD card, put it into your computer, and then we're just going to focus on that one logo tweak folder that we used before. On the SD card, you should have a folder named Tool. If you don't, just go ahead and make one. And then within that tools folder, go ahead and copy over that logo tweak folder. Now, once you have it moved over, all you have to do is rename that folder. So just go ahead and rename it to add a dot PAK to the end of it. And that's it. It's just a special naming convention that is used by Mini UI to recognize tools. Now, when we put that SD card back into the Miu Mini and then boot up Mini UI, down at the bottom, you should now find a tools folder. And within there, you should find logo tweak. Now, theoretically, this is supposed to work the exact same as it did on Onion OS. But what I found for me is that it would only flash the image for a split second. And so it did make it kind of hard to decide which one I wanted to use, but you can still kind of get a glimpse of what's going to be there. Regardless, the app is still going to work just fine. And so as you can see right here, I decided to flash the RetroArch one instead. So now I'm going to shut down the device and then power it back on. And there, as you can see, I replaced the Sega logo with the RetroArch one instead. And it's simple as that. 
But I would say that if you do have both Onion OS and Mini UI SD cards, I would recommend doing this on Onion OS so that way you can get a better look at the pictures first. Now next, I'm going to show you how to create your own boot logo to have something custom. We're going to use a website called Photopea, which is basically like a free Photoshop app. Within here, make a new project and make it 640 by 480 pixels. From there, you can import your favorite image or create one of your own, however you want to do this. Me, I'm going to use a Retro Game Core logo because why not? Now a couple things you have to do to adjust this. First thing, go into the search menu here, type in the word rotate, and then select rotate 180 degrees. It needs to be rotated to show properly. Next, go up to that search bar again and type in the word brightness. And here we're going to want to reduce the brightness by at least 50%. The thing about the boot logos is that it shows them at full brightness no matter what. And so for that reason, you want to actually use a pretty dark image so that it will be balanced out. And so just kind of eyeball it and reduce the brightness. You can always adjust it later on if you're not happy with how it turned out. But once you're happy with how everything looks, go into the file menu and then select export as JPG. Next, we want to name the image image one, no space or anything. And then make sure that you up the quality pretty high, but all the same, try to keep that JPEG under 30 kilobytes of size. If it's too big, the app actually won't run it. Next, we're going to go ahead and save that onto our computer. And as you can see, here's the JPEG here. And as you can see, it's also under 30 kilobytes altogether. Next, we need to make a folder for this image so that we can put it within the app. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call mine miu-rgc. And within here, just go ahead and put in your boot logo. So next, I'm going to insert my Onion OS card that already has logo tweak inside. And I'm going to navigate into that app. So I'll go into apps, then logo tweak, and then go into logos. And within each of these folders are all of those different boot logos we were looking at before. All you have to do now is move over that folder we created with our custom boot logo. And that's it, we're good to go. We can eject the SD card, put it back into our device. And now as we navigate through these boot menus, the very last one is gonna be the one you added. And just like with the other one, you're gonna press the A button to install and it's gonna flash onto the internal storage and you're good to go. Same thing here, we're gonna press any button to exit and then turn the device off and then turn it back on. And bam, there we are, we have our own boot logo. And of course you can overwrite this at any time and within the Logo Tweak app, there also is the default boot logo as well. But I recommend try to experiment with different logos and things like that. And if you are interested in the Retro Game Core ones, I'm not sure if you would be, but if you are, they're gonna be in the guide that I have linked in the video description. Either way, that's about it for this video. I think this is just kind of a neat way to personalize the Miu Mini just a little bit more. Personally, I have a ton of these devices at this point and I've also been gifting them to my siblings and so I've made these little boot logos for them. And I'm actually gonna give these to them next week and I hope they get a kick out of them. Either way, that's about it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.